what are CPCAB's aims for themselves, learners, and, and for the profession itself, do you think? Wow. Um, I think our, our aims for ourselves as an organisation um, are made quite clear in our kind of philosophy, which actually is a published philosophy, in terms of really um, being able to enhance relationships between people, whether that's counselling practitioner relationships with client work, whether that's interpersonal relationships in the workplace, whether that's connecting really kind of closely with our centres and our tutors. Um, for us, it's about modelling that at the heart of the organisation so that we're able to support that rolling out into society as a whole, I guess. It's um, one of the things I remember saying when I first started to work here, uh, moving from counselling teaching into this, is for me it was about, um, in a really cheesy way, enhancing the greater good of I wanted to be able to support CPCOB into the future to kind of create real excellence in counselling training because for me that makes better practitioners and better practitioners can have a really good positive impact upon the mental well-being of the clients that they encounter. So for me it really does kind of start small mm -hmm. in terms of how we work with each other and rolls out into that that work as a whole. So the ethos starts here and it's just it's just kind of transmitted through the, the relationships you have, the qualifications that you make, and and all aspects right through, in, I guess, into employers as, as well. Yeah, yeah, and, and the, the qualifications are based on current research. Anthony mm. is very keen on yes. having the appropriate research to mm. back up the qualifications that we offer. And so he's usually the one that's very busy mm. finding out about what's going on in the wider world and bringing that back into CPCAB yeah. so that we can offer that through our qualifications mm -hmm. so they're always as up-to-date as they can be. Mm -hmm. And that's really important to um, spread that across the country. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really interesting point, Heather, because, you know, qualifications themselves, they, they, they look the same year in, year out. Mm -hmm. But actually, what, I, what I've learned by being here is that CPCAB, is a, it's a, the qualification is alive. Mm -hmm. it's, it's being looked at and it's being informed by research. Yeah. And, and that I think I think that's that's quite unusual in terms of awarding bodies because it, it's it's almost like the, the profession lives through the qualification. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think they're evolving all the time. All the qualifications we don't just put them out there and leave them. We're always looking mm. at them and looking at how things can be improved, brought more up to date, or whatever. And and hopefully that the tutors out there as well as the students you know learn from that and invigorate their own courses mm. and, and not just do the same thing every year, year after year.